Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono and the Tiger. And I'm your host, Water Exodus, to take you through some more time traveling action. Where we last left off, we were in uh, the floating magical kingdom of Zeal, but I, like I told you, I was going to go back and force Ayla to learn Charm, which I did. So that's done. Uh, Luca also learned Fire, too, and I believe. She learned something. Well, one of these texts she learned. Um, let's see, what else? Anything changed? I don't think it much changed. Oh, and I stayed here because I want to do this little, little bit with Specchio. All right, sweetheart. Unfortunately, you were born before magic existed, but you seem to have other skills that will get you by. Looking for some practice? Nope. Anytime, friends. Remember, I'm the master of war. Yeah, I gotta go. Now, let's head back to Zeal. Earthbound Island, 12,000 BC? Sure, why not? Well... We are now in the Earthbound Island. Okay. Let's head back to the, what is this, the Sky Walkway? The Skyway, whatever. It's none of your business. Let's go. Swing. Okay. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this was I wanted to go to Anhasa. And I'm wondering if that thing is still open. Do I have to do it again? What is it? I think it's this one. No, damn it. Can I close you? Okay. Water summons wind. Wind makes fire dance. Dun, 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 dun. There we are. Let me in. And now, here we go. The goo of Reese's God. Challenge me? Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. Whoa! Okay, first we charm. Better work. Let me get him off! And Chrono uses lightning too. Let's see what this does. I'll take it. Oh! It, son. Yeah, this is rough. Just brace yourself for that, at least. Don't kill her. Okay, good. This battle can be kind of rough, and Falcon hit the sons of the bitches, and Falcon hit the bitches. Oh! Nice. Chrono. Ha! Took off one. Chrono, don't die! Okay, good. Take off one. Shit. No! Chrono! Ah! Do not kill her. You know, this is bullshit. Okay. Let's use a revive on Kronoski. Horseshit! Horseshit! There we go. Just do lightning too. Maybe it'll kill those three up top. Don't kill him! Shit. <laughs> No! <laughs> Use lightning too! Oh, come on! Weaklings, new. No. My HP at one. Ah, oh. I'm doing that again. All right, you gonna get? Except this time. Uh, let's use Luca. Do I get the mop? 
forget that. Yeah, we got the mop. Okay. So now I don't have to even worry about that. Um. She can use fire too, which is good. Yeah, I'll keep these guys for now. Uh, Chrono, as you can see, the mop is, uh, not great. It's just a stupid weapon. But now let's try to kill these fuckers. The guru read the gun? Challenge me? Damn right, we're gonna challenge you. But this time, he's gonna win, brother. Falcon hit. And huzzah! And fire too! Oh, come on, bitch! One! One HP! Bitch! Dead? Yes! Okay, those three are dead. How is he living?! Come on, Falcon hit! Falcon PUNCH! Just don't kill her. Oh, asshole. Don't kill her. Damn it. Chrono, no! Alright, it's up to Chrono to do some fucking damn. You know what? This should kill all of you. Chrono, last man standing. Yes! Alright, we did it. Wow. 90 tech points. You're strong! Take this! New. <laughs> they all just completely were shot out of, uh... Wow, Chrono's almost done. They were just completely shot out of that 90 tech points. But, it's a tough fight. Um... Especially on your first game, and especially since I didn't do any level grinding. I mean, realistically, what am I at? 32? At this part, all my characters know most of their skills and are in, like, the upper 30s. But, you know, I'm not going to do all that level grinding in this LP. So now, let's see. I think I want you here. I want you on the team. For now, this is who I'm going to use for this part of the game. Uh, okay, so we fought the new. I think we could leave. Gotta make our way back to where we were. The land bridge. Do 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 Alrighty. Okay. Go across the desolate snow capped mountains. Very nice, very nice. Back to the skyway. Oh. I'm probably going to be using Ayla, guys, for uh, quite a bit of the boss battles to show you what you can get. Unless it's... I mean, yeah, I'll probably be using her for quite a bit of the boss battles to get, like, extra tabs and stuff like that. But I'll switch her in before the fights. This way I keep the party kind of evened out, you know what I mean? And not, and not even just by magic, just by, like, you know, I mean, it'd be boring if I just used the same two characters with Chrono over and over. Don't you agree? Oh, boy. This is the Queen's Palace, the center of the Earth Kingdom, which makes this the center of the universe. What? Center of the universe? The source of our energy lies deep below the sea. Now that the sacrification has been found, the Ocean Palace will be built. Use the Queen's Hall to get to the Ocean Palace, which is under construction. Tee hee! The wandering prophet is amazing. All his prophecies have come true. It's as if he knows the future. How eerie. Even Balthazar has gone to design the Blackbird in the Ocean Palace. How strange the three gurus who guide Zia have all disappeared. They say that Gasper, the guru of time, seems to work on some deserted island. He's making a chrono trigger or time egg or something, but no one has seen him for ages. No! Hey, they're blocking the way. What are you doing, boy? Disconnects to Queen's Hall. 
The earth is alive and there's trees over the elms. From the flat lands and the mountains, from mountains and oceans, that you may find the way. That is, if you could pass Aeons of Time and the Forbidden Palace or the Sun Keep. Okay. I'll think about that. The Queen must have borne pain and sorrow and silence. No pain, no gain. Zeal too was born out of much sacrifice and work. This will take you to the bedroom. Will it now? The completion of Vosh Palace will allow Zeal to last forever, and there will be no fear or sin, it's just eternal peace. The Queen's aide, Dalton, was in charge of his palace until some traveling prophet took over. He's in a bad mood, so you should avoid him. Dalton's a dick. Ask the Queen of Gurus if you want to talk about the Mammoth Machine of the Earth's Palace. And between us, she probably won't give you the time of day. <laughs> Did you know Balthazar, the Guru of Reason, has secret rooms in Unhaizan and Gajad? Yes, I found them. That man, the newcomer, but his accurate like promises are the Queen's trust. He's a drifter. He's not one of us nice ones, nor the earthbound ones either. Hmm. I'm stuck inside of you. What you doing, boy? Could you, uh, scratch my back? Yeah, sure. Oh, thanks. Oh, you got it. Phew! Phew, thank you. You discover the new scratch point. Alright, guys, let's take a little backtrackity trip to Kajar. I'll show you why in a second. I can probably cut this out, but I'm not going to. It's not that long of a trip. Cave. Plus, you guys like taking walks with me, right? I'm a fun guy to walk. I'm a fun guy to walk, ho, ho, with. Is this Kajar? Yeah, it is. Let's find that new. Let's go find that some bitch. That's Tiki, son bitch. Now let's go find that song, my bitch. Scratch, scratch. Oh, scratch, scratch. Phew. Oh, scratch, scratch. See he. Blah. And we found a magic tab. Fantastic. Feel better there, big guy? No, I don't want to do this again. But yes, that's how you get an extra tab. Agree to scratch the new on his back. You learn the secret scratch point of the new. And then that's it. Heal up just in case we needed to. And now back to the palace. I'd be horrified living on a floating continent. I don't know about you guys. Any moment that thing could just come crashing down. So, uh, yeah, Water Exodus wouldn't be too happy about it. Now, continents floating on the ocean? You know Water Exodus knows about that business. Okay, let's head back to the palace. We're almost there. We're almost at the palace. Okay. Gotta love the change to eerie music when you're in the palace. Let's head this way. Let's go here. Who's this? Scala! Oh, you're back, Janice. Is something wrong? The Black Wind. You feel it too? Don't worry, it could be alright. Now hold on to this. What is it? It's a kind of amulet. If something should happen, it'll protect you. I wish I could be with you always, but Mother has other plans. She's not our mother. She looks like Mother, but inside she has changed. Still, I can't. Janice, I'm sorry. Excuse me, Hannes. No, no, it's a woman. Excuse me, Hannes. The Queen has asked for your immediate presence at the Ocean Palace. All right. Well, Janice, I'll be going. I love this theme. Oh, who might you be? Miss Scala, please, hurry. I'll be, if you're late, I'll be punished. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Scala's an awesome character. Go away. Don't waste your time. Alpha Dor only likes me. Okay. Little douche. Skull's pendant was made from the same red rock as the man machine, when she chanced the pendant glows. Red rock, huh? What could this red rock be? Let's find out. Moss and Moon are blocking the way like dicks. Get out of the way, you. The prophet's aura is full of hatred and sorrow. He'll destroy himself with those he loves. Beyond the whole of the man machine, the incredible energy of lava is pervades. The man machine? You came to see it? Yeah. 
I thought so. Feel the flow of mighty Lavos' power. Oh, I feel faint. Wait, Lavos? The mighty Lavos? How could this be? Hmm. This is the source of Zeal's strength in Adam Machine. It draws and magnifies the infinite power of Lavos. If the Adam Machine is moved to the ocean powers, we can extract even more energy from Lavos. The ultimate dream of eternal youth and life is not possible. Oh, Almighty Queen, our kingdom of Zeal will reign forever. When the Adam Machine was finished, the Queen changed almost overnight. Between us, I heard that anyone who opposes her, not just the Earthbound ones, vanishes. Bell Horde, Lord the Queen's plans vanished. You're not thinking what I am, are you? Yep. She raped him. Magic strong enough to control the extraction of energy needed to control the Madman Machine. The three gurus made the Madman Machine from Royal Family's Red Rock. Velcor, a study bush where Lavos was in charge of plants, but then he disappeared. I don't know if some freak tactical stuff's going down. Let's head through here. Scala! Whoa! That door looks familiar. She opened it. Let's go in there. Ha! Well, the pendants look similar. Hmm, just as we thought, it won't budge. Huh, there's something to this pendant. No one may enter while the queen is away at the Ocean Palace. You your pendant. It looks just like Scarlet's. I heard that when Scarlet continue, uh, communes with the man, man machine, her pendant starts to glow. To open the door from the outside, an item like Scarlet's pendant needs to break the seal. You your pendant? Yeah, we know. Let's go solve this problem. Get out of the way, new. Oh! Okay. You'll see why in a second. Like I said, it's just it's just good to use hard through in boss fights for charming. Let's do it. Yeah, we did it. Hey, la go, no fear, Chrono. Let's do it, bitch. Here are you. How did you get in here? Your Majesty, they're the evil doers I warned you of. How dare you think you could depose me, you foreigners! You're worse than the gurus! Fools, Dalton, take them away! Yes, ma'am, buy or leave. Golem! Oh boy. Okay, guys, you can win this battle, but it's extremely difficult to win. Basically, I bring Ayla. Charm the song, bitch. Get a nice magic tab from him. And then pretty much just uh, leave it up to fate. See? She's dead. And see how much damage I'm doing? He has like six or seven thousand HP. Let's give him a vote, mate. Just to put up a little bit of a fight. But yeah, just uh, at least make it kind of worth your while to uh, to at least steal a magic tab from him. Uh oh, we copied lightning tech. And we're dead? Almost. As you can see, Vault Bite is taking off a decent amount of damage. And like I said, you can beat him, but it's not necessary. In New Game Plus, you could definitely slaughter this guy, but now just uh, just do what you can. We'll be dead soon. Yeah, see, we're, we're gonna be dead soon. Ah! <laughs> Fear not. You won't die immediately, that is. By the time we're through with you, you'll end, end up begging us to end your suffering. What a delicious diversion! Oh! <laughs> Fucking reminds me of my sick, demented grandmother. Scala! And Janice! And Alphador! 
Yeah, this is gonna be like a 22 minute episode. <laughs> Idiots, what will you do, Scala? Let us rescue them. I think it's useless. Besides, they escape, you'll be in trouble. Don't worry about me. They just might be able to rescue the gurus. Ah! Dizzy? Are you alright? Escape quickly while you can, and if you could please rescue Melkor. He was sent to the Mountain of Woe for opposing the Queen. Please, you have to help him. I'm afraid I can't allow that. Your meddling tires me. You'll just have to disappear. You mustn't. <laughs> Stop! Alpha Door. Okay, I'll spare them. But in return, you will cooperate, Scala. Now, show me how you came here. Wonder who he is with his blue hair. So you came in through here. Now, Scala, after I throw them in, I want you to seal the portal shut. No, no, you can't make me! Oh, baby, their lives are at stake. I... Oh, all right. No! Scala, we're sorry! Please forgive me. Can they forgive that heart? Where did he, they end up being sent by the prophet? You guys are going to have to find out on the next episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. See y'all next time. Eating a pudding. And remember, keep on laughing.